out here on the gritty streets of Cleveland. Ride my Praya Tuano V4 1100 factory looking proper. <laughs> looking good. But you know, you know what guys, I always recommend wearing motorcycle gear, you know, in all of my videos. But I'm going to tell you, there's certain motorcycle gear you should avoid. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continue to leave video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. First off, I want to tell you guys that these heated gloves are absolutely legit. These are battery powered. I've been riding for like three and a half hours so far and uh, still good. I keep it on low and I'm good. I have a link to these in the description and comment section of this video. And for those of you guys who want to get my gear like this airbag vest, I recommend everybody get this to help stay safe. My ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, my Dionese winter jacket keeping me warm, uh, camel pants, uh, boots, all my stuff. I always include my links to my gear in the description and comment section of my videos. Uh, man, this thing, I tell you, it's, this thing is worth its weight in gold. Because, as you guys know, <laughs> I didn't have it on when I fell on my YZ uh, messing around off-road and I broke my collarbone. I, I believe had I had this on, it possibly could have prevented the, uh, the break, which cost over $5,000 <laughs> to fix that broken bone, man. So, broken bones are expensive, guys. And, uh, and you don't want to go through all that that uh, pain like I went through <laughs> wear the airbag vest and helmet and all the gear uh, but I will tell you guys when it comes to used helmets don't buy used helmets because you never know how that helmet was treated that helmet could have been in a crash and uh, or it could have been dropped. It could still look new, shiny, no problem, no scratches on it. But somebody may have dropped it because, you know, if you drop it uh, from like, I don't know, for like six feet or whatnot and you drop it on the ground, it could reduce uh, the integrity of the helmet, you know, reducing its safety. Uh, and if it's been in a crash, you know, obviously they say you shouldn't wear the helmet after you've been in a crash. You want to stick to buying new because you know what you're getting. Uh, it's helmets are not that expensive. You can get helmets on clearance for cheap. You know, when I got back into riding back in like what was like 2009, eight or nine, when I had that Chinese scooter, I bought that helmet on clearance. It was like I think it was probably like a three years old, a three year old new one uh, that had been sitting on the shelf for three years. Helmets are generally good for five years. Um, so. That helmet cost me 50 bucks. <laughs> $50, man. You know, brand new, I think it was like 150, I think it was like 150 bucks or 200 bucks brand new. Um, so you could get deals, you know, when these when the gear goes on clearance. So it's really unnecessary uh, to buy a used helmet. And also when it comes to gear, avoid buying uh loose jackets you know loose jackets loose pants you want your motorcycle jackets and pants to fit tight so that it secures the c armor so that if you go down the c armor is in place to help you know keep you safe keep your bones safe keep your uh you know because the c armor helps lessen the blow when you go down helps lessen the impact but if that gear is not, you know, the sea armor is not in place and it moves around, then obviously that leaves your, you know, your bones vulnerable. So definitely want to wear that tight. You know, I, I make fun of people that wear, you know, tight, you know, skinny jeans. <laughs> I just joke about it. I, I'm, I could care less what people wear, but I think it's funny, you know. But when it comes to motorcycle gear, 
you want to wear tight gear. <laughs> you want to wear that Rick James tight gear. <laughs> you know how Rick James back in the 80s he wore like tight red leather pants and stuff. On the motorcycle that's okay. <laughs> Off the motorcycle it's questionable. <laughs> but that's on you. Even though I know some of you guys are probably going to say cycle cruiser. You know you wear camel pants and our baggy camel pants the only reason i wear camel pants guys you see that i have on right now is be on cold days like this it's like 38 degrees i wear my uh leather pants uh motorcycle leather pants underneath the camel pants because i have perforated leather pants so the camel pants helps prevent the cold air from going into my legs that's the only reason I wear camel pants, not for fashion. I know some of you guys think I'm a douchebag because I'm trying to look cool out here with camel pants. <laughs> but trust me, I only wear it because it's cold out. In the summertime, you never see me wear camel pants. I always got my leather, pa leather pants on that are underneath these camel pants. So, uh, which I have links to all my gear, like I said, in the description and comment section of my videos. Um, definitely want to make sure that you're wearing that your gear fits you man with your helmet you never want to wear a helmet that's too big um, because if you wear a helmet that's too big you know how you can tell is if when you put the helmet on your head um, and you you take your hand and you slide it and if it moves down really easy it, it's not fitting right you shouldn't get that helmet size you want to get a helmet that fits real nice and snug so it stays in place and you know the longer you wear the helmet it'll break in at, over time so it'll feel more comfortable even though you know when it's new it'll feel pretty tight and uncomfortable but like i said you wear that a few times it'll uh, it'll loosen up a little bit where it'll be absolutely the perfect fit so avoid going you know a size larger than you normally do or two sizes i know sometimes people will tell you that certain helmets run small uh, but to be honest with you the reason why they're probably saying that is because the interior of the helmet is is on fitting on their face really tight and it feels uncomfortable for them but oftentimes you can get a different size uh, liners you know the cheek pads you can get thinner line uh, thinner cheek pads so that the helmet fits perfect for you some helmets even have tear-offs you know where you can custom fit it to your head but get gear that fits go to the you know motorcycle stores try the helmets on get your uh, measure your size of your your head with a tape measure and uh and just make sure you're wearing well-fitting gear because that's what's gonna help keep you safe out here on the streets <laughs> but anyways guys leave a comment below and let's talk about it that's why I do these videos to incite community discussion. Don't forget to subscribe to my All of a Motorcycle channel. So until next time, catch you guys later. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto. Later.